Thank you. <laughs> it says leave meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is uh, just what I've gone through this month. Um, as you would expect, there's there's a few possibilities, but um, old graph. What can I get? And this is based on also the the MACD and also the um, the, the MPI crossover as well. So I put them all together, really, trying to run different watch lists every day is a bit of a nightmare. But I've just used, I, I also put the RS on. I think I put this on last month. It's nice just to see that trajectory. But when I look at it, sometimes it makes a difference and sometimes it doesn't. You would think if the RS is creeping up, then the stock is you know, going to be safer, which they purport it to be. But um, sometimes the, 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 the EPS just keeps going with it, which is a good sign, I suppose. Um, TRMD, we've got a cross there. I am muted on this, but I can't understand why I'm... Oh, is that all right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so this is just broken out here, and it's just a case of waiting for that to, to break at the top. STRL. This looks pretty good and again just got to wait for that break there um I've, I've noticed recently on the valuations of a lot of us stocks we get this same pattern here has anybody noticed that recently i don't know if that's a is, that, is that value yeah it's happened on quite a few stocks where it's all, they're all the same not not all of them but um the price is going up the value goes up coincides results uh, I, I don't know. If you were to put on it, so put it yeah, on no, it's on there, but that's what I can't understand. You'll see that little dog. It's going to be interest rate. It's the only thing that really covers all stocks. Hmm. The four, four, four well, that's the thing, they're not all the same. But I, I recognize that pattern there on quite a few. So yeah. It's the same pattern, but at different times, yeah? No, it's the same pattern, yeah, at the same time. But let's just go through it. you probably see a couple more. I, I, I noticed it when I went through the top 100 and I thought it was a bit strange, but perhaps it's me. Um, but there is a bit of divergence here on the MACDs, you can see there. Um, and the valuation is quite, quite good. So um, this is heavy industry, heavy construction. You see it again there, see that? Yeah, just go back. <coughs> Sorry? The valuation formula takes into account um, so earnings and interest rates and inflation. So the inflation needs to do that, isn't it? Yeah. If inflation has gone down, does that mean valuation has to go someplace? But why isn't it on all stocks, though? You know, it's just something which I know. Yeah, it's strange. Um, this one I did um, put in a watch list only for it to tank yesterday. I don't know what that, they did mention it on Bloomberg, but I can't remember what it was. So <laughs> just goes to show you what can happen. You know, you must wait for that break above. Um, and that was a bit of a disaster to the trade, that one. But to be fair, it, there was no cross. It was just a matter of waiting for it. And this is what I'm saying about this RS. You know, it's nice to see it. A lovely trajectory there. Gone up from 1.2 to 1.4 nearly. And then you get that. So it's obviously not as safe as what they think it is. You know, it's, uh, I don't know whether you should take that as gospel or what, but um, FRO, I did actually trade this, I had a couple of days in there. But it was a break of trend there, but it, it, that did work. A little bit of an uptick on the RT11 there. Yeah, 91 versus 89. Um, the MACD's doing quite well. That was thrown up on one of the sector searches as well. Um, you know, as, as a, a good stock to look at, but the overall conditions. 
weren't doing weren't very good. So mm. I did I did the investing. Yeah. But you know, I just like the spread between the value and the and the, and the price action as well. Um, it, that looks quite good. Oh yeah, that's shipping. Yeah, so that seems that that's influenced, I suppose, but what China's doing also the oil price. Um, this one I, I looked at this morning. I think it was again. You can see the RS going up quite well. Earnings are steady, a little uptick in the MACD there. Again, you've got to wait for this break. Um, five and 40 of the stop are really close together. So that just, that, you had a similar sort of thing there. Look, see that? It just bounced off. Um, that was tighter in to the, to the moving averages of the stop. But, um, I quite like that one. Just again, just wait for that break, and we've got this similar pattern with the uh, the valuation. I shall have to email them or phone up back to us and just ask them what that is. And again, you see it there sudden leg up. I, I can't figure out what it is, um, but this is Jacobs, the engineering company. Oh, I suppose if their infrastructure and uh, program gets in full swing, then they should do very well. Um, what's the tick on that, Steve? What's the what, sorry? The uh, ticker. ticker. Oh, J, sorry. Just J. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, the earnings are steady. Uh, but if that, <coughs> the longer that you see this trend line, um, when you get a breakout, then it is generally quite good. <laughs> <laughs> The, um, Sorry? The E with the earnings, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Surprising that's come down recently if Biden has given all these billions to construction <clears throat> and what have you. It's thought to be well in demand as well. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but they're all over the world, these people. Um, mm. Got yeah, that's it. Was one by me. About four years ago. Sorry, they'd be taken over about four years ago and then split. Right, they split. Yeah, but this was was they, they did a lot of petrochemical work as well, Jenkins. Yeah, and the same as Foster Wheeler, which is now wood, isn't it? Yeah, um, in fact, they're under the takeover as well. Yeah, in fact, so if I look, say this is a split company. Uh, well, about four years ago, um, it was taken over, mm. and I believe they split. The building civil side of the business mm. away from the petrochemical. So, what is this bit? That looks like the buildings. Okay. Yeah. Which would have thought would be the Yeah. There's also a downtrend there, a flag, but it's not one of uh, what David would call, you know, a bull flag. I, well, it is a flag, but it's, it's come right the way down. So, yeah. but again, just wait for that break, see what happens. We get a buy up there. It did it there. That's a really steep one, but next. Um, yeah, this was a MACD cross. Um, there was an RT11 cross in there. Yeah. But it is not much of a downtrend. It's, um, again, it's got to wait for the buy. And perhaps across from there and let it see what happens. CIGI is one I was been looking at. That looks like it's going to cross at some point. It did break the trend there, but it's come back slightly. And it has touched that trend line. And there is some sort of a flag going on there. It's a little bit long in the tooth. But again, you got this leg up again. Nice big spread between the uh, valuation and value and, and the price, you know, it's 40 odd percent there. Um, building and maintenance. I mean, building has been a top sector in the States for quite a while now, hasn't it? Yeah, unfortunately. Mm. Advanced drain, another building. It's not quite so find this one. 
Yeah, it's a difficult one to plot. Maybe it's there, I don't know. Well, prove that. Yeah. The IRS is above one. The earnings are flat line for a long time, but uh, at least the valuation is above the price, which is good. Malibu boats, this is one I've been looking at. It's just about to cross, I think. Is it cross already? Not quite. Yeah, I can't see that. You can't more, see it? Well, no, it's more and more American. It's got more and more leisure time. I thought yeah. I'd be cutting back this year. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Mm. But it's just from the technical position. Yeah. I like the way it's come down there and taken up that low. I did it there before, look. It bounced off. I think that's one what David would like. He's seen that. I think he's mentioned that quite a few times and if it comes down and then reverses. But just wait for a convincing break, I suppose. A lot of these haven't gone on to a buy yet. Not that that's a problem. Um, you generally want them when they're on a hold. But the way the US market is at the moment, you, know, you, can, see, you can see that pressure is, is it's not convincing enough. Do you put that in a three year chart? Could we see post COVID surge? Hmm. Well, that was COVID, wasn't it? Brilliantly. Plus, it's gone up nearly a five bagger. Mm. It seems like Winnie Baker did well. Actually. Yeah, they did actually. Yeah. I wonder where their market is, Winnie. Is it mainly in, in the States? Is it, is it a Canadian company? It's a Canadian company. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. No, I know they do export over the, all over the world. Yeah. Let's look at the next one. SLGN. Container metal and glass. I will just wait for this to be more positive, really. I don't see much there, but it's just one to watch. Just yeah. see. If SpaceX market crash, they got them and blew up. Sorry? SpaceX market blew up. Did it? All right. On the pad? Uh, oh, it's the flight. Oh, world's biggest rocket. Jesus, <laughs> thanks for the good news. <laughs> that must have been quite a, a ball of fire in the sky. Crikey. Does it affect a Tesla stock? It doesn't sit in since the flight, then it, it might have done the separation. There is a mini inverse head and shoulders, as you can see. In the spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's another one for the watch list. Um, let's have a look. MCFT, leisure products. I'm not sure what sort of leisure products, but uh, let's just take that off there and see what's going on with the stock. Yeah, that's. Very nearly going to cross there, and you got that there as well. The MACD is positive. RS is just about above one, but the earnings are good compared to the price. It's four, so it's fourteen. It's seven to one, isn't it? And you can see the price is tucked in really tight there. See that? Normally, when you get across, the price is up here somewhere, way away. Um, so um, yeah, that's that one. Let's have a, have a look at the master watch list. Good question. How do you produce these watch lists? Uh, from a search, uni search. Do you publish that uni search? Sorry? Do you publish that uni search? Yeah. yeah. Profit. <laughs> yeah, well, no, it's just all uh, posted. Um, I can show you that later, no problem. It, it consists of three, really, so that this near perfect indicator and also a MACD which were sort of created here. Um, right, so we were, where were we last month? <laughs> <laughs> Who 
this has been one of the top VST stocks for a while, isn't it? Yeah. I think we were, where were we last month? Yeah. Uh, so it was somewhere there, so that's done reasonably well. Again, you've just got to wait for that triple shot to break. That was on the list. I like the way this has come down to the gap level. See that? A little gap in there. I think that was a year of an earnings call. And it's taken out that low. Again, you've got this reasonably good spread between the price and the, and the valuation. Um, and the RT and then the uh, the RS is what is that one? One point three seven. So it's not bad. See how well that's done. <coughs> the earnings have sort of mirrored it. This is the sort of thing which I mean. It's quite good. CI's like on it. Sigma lithium. Thought we were going to break there. I'm watching that daily. It's just this. It wants a bit more impetus, I suppose, to break through, but it looks like it will at, at some point. But the RT5 is crossing down now below the, uh, the 40, so just be cautious of that. Yeah, so that, that would have... I like the way it's tested that double bottom again. See that? They're beautiful. Very rarely fell, you know. Comes down, did it there. Off it goes. That's a similar thing. But I think it's, I think that's a fib level as well. So that's um, it's reached a resistance point there. BCAR. They've got a reasonably high RS 1.2 nearly. Just wait for that break. Again, you've got this little that similar pattern on the on the valuation leg. <clears throat> so, what did you reckon that could be, Jonathan? Um, inflation drop. Mm. Is the rising RV um, part of your search? Was it just happens to be? No, I, I just make a note of, of what it. Yeah. It does influence. If that was down there at 50, so I don't know, you know, it's a bit, a bit dangerous. So, so then you can put that. Yeah, yeah. But with the valuation, if I see the value way, way underneath price, I just look at see how it's, if it's always been under price, then chance that'll keep on. You know, it's when you see the fluctuation. Um, it doesn't influence me that much when it's underneath price and been there for a while. If you look at two UK stocks, which is YouGov and Rightmove, that, that's always been the case. So it shouldn't really influence you that much. Right. But it is something which I take a note of. If the price is sort of dropping and that's going up, that's always good, isn't it? It does represent good value. Kroger, this is one I should have taken. It broke out of there, that's, that's typical. Let's come back um, again. You've got this huge valuation uplift. I do like that one. I'm waiting for it to come back and, and give a double bottom there. It's a discount. I'm not sure actually. Phil. Kroger. I know that. Um, what's the software that they? Uh, what's the home delivery food? Picardo, yeah, they licensed their, their software to them, didn't they, about three years ago. Um, but I, I would wait for that double bottom to come down and just test that. That could represent a good position. I'm waiting for that. Um, MOD, again, that's uh, prices, you must have taken the price off. See, it's really tight. If you get a nice cross there, the upside that should represent a good good entry point. It did it there, look, see that? So let's see. Yeah. 
Um, checkpoint is another one I quite like that. Again, you've got this uh, value uplift. And the five is above the 40 there, it's rising up quite steadily. The RS is uh, kind of drifting downwards, but whether you want to take any notes of that or not, I don't know. I would suspect that's going to come down a little bit, perhaps to these levels and then go. But, uh, that's good. Marathon oil. Last month. Yeah, there we were there last month. See how it came down and tested that double bottom. So it works. But oil is is coming off a bit now, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> reserves have gone down though. Sorry? I said reserves have gone down. So mm. yeah. It just depends what the salary's gonna do, what our bet's gonna do. Yeah. But that that eight and a half percent rise we got in, in, in oil that time in the futures two was it three weeks ago is because of the cut they made mm. but i'm just afraid that they'll say oh do you know what we'll increase production again i just don't trust them uh and there are quite a few good oil stocks but you've just got to be mindful of the the oil price i suppose and what could happen uh, this was another break that was last month wasn't it yep there somewhere and that's just come right off. But that worked. Computer network. So right, that's it. Um, yeah. That's where they both had a long period of run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's what well, otherwise you probably end up with nothing. Yeah. Yeah, be back to break even now on that one. Um, but this is, yeah, that's right. And they just look, observe these tops. Um, that's what I do. It's the same search work on UK stocks. Uh, yeah, you just don't get that many. Right. No, there's shame really because it's, it's quite a good search, and uh, I'll show you it later. Great. Okay. Thank you very much, Steve. No problem. Little drink break. Mm -hmm. Two minutes. Just make sure you slide past the. Who's the WhatsApp? Because I'm not in the WhatsApp group. Who's the WhatsApp admin? Uh, Phil was the. Yeah. Phil, can you phone me in your WhatsApp group? Yeah, give me your phone number. Do you want to do it now or do it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just going to be great. I'll write it down. Yeah. 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 yeah, so I'd say 30 quid a month to speak up a bit, Phil. <laughs> to be part of the fund expert. And uh, it's a guy, Brian Dennehy, that. Uh, he does a presentation every month. He does this presentation. It's about 40 slides. And usually about 30 of them are uh, kind of about the, the environment, really. And then the last quarter is about picking different funds around the world. But I mean, he's real negative.